US average of daily COVID-19 cases hit the highest level since February on Sunday, fueled by the Delta variant, reports ANI. Hospitals in the South are running out of space or staff as all the beds are taken up by COVID victims, with some patients unable to get the care they would normally receive, reported CNN. Infected people need immediate extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, ECMO treatment, which is not available at the hospital. An ECMO treatment uses external machinery that can function as the heart and lungs. It's been used in some severely ill COVID-19 patients, including young adults. Across the country, states are struggling to fend off the Delta variant, the most contagious strain of coronavirus yet. But the situation is particularly worrisome in several southern states, reported CNN. Louisiana set a new record for COVID-19 hospitalizations last week. Florida's hospitalizations recently jumped 13% above the state's previous peak on July 23, 2020, according to a survey by the Florida Hospital Association. The U.S. now is averaging more than 100,000 new COVID-19 cases every day, the highest in almost six months according to data from Johns Hopkins University. News Desk, Kamudi English. 